So you might have seen my video on running your scratch projects 20 times faster and now I have researched more on this and today I will show you what I have got. So let's get started. So the thing I found out that if you go to the C inside of this. So here you can see we have a different type of scripting here. If here you can see uh, this is a bit different than normal scratch screen. Like here you can see you have the find option. You can just find anything in the script. Then we have the turbo up options like here you can see is compiled and last key press. I don't understand what is is compiled but last key press is the last key you have pressed on your keyboard like now I press W and now I click on it it is saying W if I press the space bar and click on it it says space it works with every key like if I put escape it says escape so you can use this for using things like key space or anything pressed you can just get the value if you like but this won't work very great we have even more options like here you can see we have the while loop and also this for each i or you can choose the variable in 10. What this does is this increases the value of the variable you choose here uh, by 10 times and also uh, simultaneously run the script inside of that. You can use that and then you can see when I right click here you can see we have the paste option you can copy and paste the blocks and you can also clean up using this here. And this is a better cleanup as here you can see there is more space and you can even cut block like copy all it will copy the whole script I think then copy block this will copy the single block and cut block if I cut it will be deleted from here and now you can just paste it here. So if I want to paste a motion block like here you can see move 10 steps and cut block I can paste it in this uh, in the stage you can see this won't work but you can just get it here. And this is way faster than scratch as if you run any project here you can even go in 60 fps mode just go to edit turn on 60 fps mode it will go in 60 fps and show the 60 fps sign here and you can also turn it off immediately you can change username here like I want fanjoa so it will now just say fanjoa in the username variable like here you can see it says fanjoa and it also has a dark mode here you can see the background is dark but the st stage and the buttons are white. You can change the username to anything you like and you can also turn on high quality pen to have anti-aliased pens lines and turn on infinite clones so there is no limit to clones. Then you have warp timer I don't know what this is and disable compiler so it will just run normal scratch like thing if you disable the compiler and advanced settings help you can just click on it to get advanced settings help like the warp timer the infinite clones anything here if you want the settings help then you can get the help source code feedback and bugs you can tra help translate turbo up in different languages you can see it is in many languages but you can still help and you also have this different one for other backdrops here you can see we have for each j instead of i and other sprites and here we have j in this it automatically creates the variables if i just run the script you can see i and j we have there you can also delete this if you want and it will be automatically created when the script runs you can also save it and it will run in scratch it will work and it will be ready to import even the is compiled and the other block so to check if it is running in scratch you can just do thing like put all the blocks which is not which are not available in scratch but here like the while for each and also we are putting here this is compiled and the last key pressed to make them like at least work or prevent any glitches you can just put them inside of them and just join them like this. So now I'll save this and you can see it is downloaded project 2.sb3 and now I will just import it in scratch. So I have opened scratch load from computer and here you can see I have opened it and here you can see this is uh, working like just normal blocks. These are visible like just we what we saw there these are not changed and these also work like here you can see if I delete the variable i and the my variable it is automatically deleted but I can undo and get this back and if I just change or rename the variable to say x so here you can see this is changed and now this will work so let's try this script 
like when the green flag click for each x last key press and here you can see when i make it visible and just turn 15 degrees and also put here some shape like your thing and also instead of this we'll put here 11 12 and here you can see this is rotating and it changed it by 12 you can also do it like 1000 10000 and here you can see this changing the value and also simultaneously running the script so this is working this block is not working but you, you can see this at least you cannot you cannot use this but you can see this you can just use this for putting zero but this won't make any difference so this was all i found on this uh, editor and you can just run games faster you can watch my video on running your scratch projects 20 times faster in scratch and using turbo warp the link is in the description or in the i box above so thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next tutorial hope you enjoyed the video